Hello everyone, I'm Alex and welcome back to another video. If you guys are new here, don't forget to subscribe and turn notifications on, I greatly appreciate it. You can always unsubscribe later if you don't like it. Let's watch A Thousand Pound Sisters. Tammy and Amanda have a feud at dinner. I normally do that. Um, when it's not chicken nugget dinosaurs, I hit people. As far as Amy's diet, I'm not sure exactly what she's doing. She says that uh, we're on vacation, we can splurge today, but it does kind of worry me. I've done been through everything that she's going through with bariatric surgery. To be fair, I don't really see um, a huge problem in it because that's my excuse every single day. I always go, oh, tomorrow, tomorrow I'll eat healthier. And then I order a Wendy's. This was meant to be my health day. This was meant to be my, I ordered, I ordered fries and chicken nuggets and a burger. <laughs> I have no self-control. So like, it does worry me that she's so early on eating the way that she does. Ain't con queso, ain't that cheese, right? Yeah. I'm dipping cheese in cheese. Yeah, that's like, if you battered, battered cod. You're like, oh, do you know, I just don't think there's enough batter here. What would happen if you, if you dipped a tomato in ketchup? Does the world explode? Why are you You're digging in your <laughs> Because I have stuff in my pocket, okay? It's my pocket, excuse me. Yeah. God, that silence. Jar at the dinner table. This is like watching um, The Red Wedding at a Game of Thrones. <laughs> oh, <laughs> So we rip. Who eats salad like that? Apart from like actual animals. I've never seen somebody eat lettuce like that before in my life. Remember when we went and got the family? I don't know what I'm looking at here. I don't know what's happening. That kid is desperate for it, which I suppose is a good thing. Yeah, get him on that healthy diet young. Photos. So together. this is all of us together. I know you're not about to rub it in my face that I didn't go. Girl. I wish I didn't come now. Don't start, please. Tell me with some type of way about us looking at the pictures because it's the first time we got to see him. And I don't know if she just thought we was kind of rubbing it in that we went and she didn't. My man's been smoking like 70 a day. It just like straight, like he just eats nicotine. I have friends who sound like that and they're 23. Put down the vape, guys. I did. I'm clean. I'm clean now. You know, I don't smoke. I don't do any of that stuff because of the fact that I, I couldn't breathe. I thought I was going to die at the age of 25. Because she threw a little tantrum? I don't know. But she wasn't happy about it. She'll get over it. Didn't stop her eating that cheeseburger. Was that necessary at the end there? <laughs> he just slipped that in, didn't he? Just right at the end. He just slipped that in there on a show about losing weight. Just slipped that in. Just, just thought maybe nobody would notice. It was a little difficult using the electric wheelchair. I don't know what the heck's going on. I don't know what they do. I've never used one. Plus, I didn't want the thing in the first place. So I'm wondering if it, if this is for me or is it for them? Well, I'd assume she's got the electric wheelchair because she can't walk, right? That's why most people have wheelchairs, you know, for mobility. And what are they doing if, if she doesn't have a wheelchair? Do they carry her? If so, then yeah, it's definitely for them. And as it should be. But it, but then it's for her anyway. It's to help her get around. Why is that a problem? If somebody said to me, we could install wheels on you right now, like electronic wheels, I'd take them and I can run. But could you imagine if I had, like, wheels constantly? I'm saying this like I can't just buy an electric wheelchair for myself, but I think that's frowned upon, isn't it? Isn't it frowned upon to be able-bodied and buy a wheelchair? Let me know in the comments below. You guys could make me change my mind here. You'll see me rock up in the next video. Just... <laughs> Hello, everybody. Welcome back. <laughs> Welcome back to another video. Meow. <laughs> I, I'm really grateful to have it for this trip. It really does take, I mean, I'm not trying to be ugly, sis, but it does take the burden in, of the, off the body. What do you think now that you actually experienced driving it? I don't have any experience driving it. I just got in the damn thing. Leave me alone. Why is she so angry? She's annoying. She's an annoying person. I wouldn't want to wheel them around. I'd take the wheels off. <laughs> or I'd wheel them somewhere they didn't want to go and I'd unplug the battery. Maybe I'm sick. Well, I mean, now that you, like, seen I how mean, easier it was. It's not easy. It is easy. Will you shut up? God, she's unbearable, isn't she? You know? Give her a unicycle. See how she, f how she fends off with that one. Tammy, oh you're not gonna keep hollering at me like that. Everybody's bent over backwards. It's rude. No, it's rude is you keep running your <laughs> Bitch, don't try me like that. Shut the, the from once. Come I, on. Every time you I'm with the right one. You get in public. So is shut the She's the one that's acting like a dummy. How about you? I don't know why she's starting on her like she can go anywhere. She's literally in a wheelchair. You know, the other person could just like fucking set it to automatic and like put in a sat nav and drive them into a lake. I, <laughs> I mean, I just see that's how it works. Tesla autopilot on the wheelchair. Just, oh, uh, you're going off to Antarctica. Beep. Oh no. Help me. Help me. Why don't you just shut up for Why don't one? you get out that chair and man? 
real, bitch. Get the in. You won't shut up. How am I supposed to say anything if you keep talking? Just wait till these cameras ain't rolling. Wow, that sounded like a threat to me. Um, but I'd be pissed off too. So, uh, can you blame them? Not really. You gonna stay the f away from me. You can kiss my ass. Get the out of here, bitch. God, I think I'd hate these people. I wouldn't like them at all. I wouldn't want to be near them <laughs> in any capacity. How can you run your mouth like that when you like physically can't run away from like the consequences of your own actions? I, I don't get that. That's the best part about being able to mouth somebody off is, is like being able to just get out of there as quickly as possible. Now we move on to the next clip where Tammy refuses to enter the cabin. I have no idea what that means. Cabins are pretty cool. Cool place to go. I don't know, maybe it doesn't have like disabled access. But well, then that wouldn't be refusing, would it? That would just be poorly thought through design. And I doubt they do a whole episode about poorly thought through design. Although I'd be all here for it. You know, let's critique the, the way that people make houses. You're gonna have to come in because we ain't going home You're gonna tonight. get out of my face. I'm not in your face, I'm Leave just standing here talking. Leave me alone. <laughs> Ooh, you better go get your damn sister. What are we gonna do about Tammy, guys? Yeah. She is just afraid to come up the ramps, and I understand that. You know, I'm not saying that she's wrong for feeling the way she feels. She's wrong for the way she talks to people. And I'm not gonna go back out there and talk to her. It's just gonna make the situation worse. She won't come up the ramp because she's scared of the ramp. We just have somebody wheel her up the ramp, right? Problem solved. I love Tammy, but she does not know how to communicate with people properly. And we don't want to mess and with her. And then we react instead of like just keeping in the back of our mind that, you know, she's going through some right now. She's being difficult. We knew it was going to happen. Yeah, but I figured it'd take a day or two, you know? Y'all see what I go through, though? You act like you're the only one that's ever took care of her. Every single one of well, us in this room She's meaner has. through the years. Bull and she no, don't she just talk got fat to like she do with me. What a lovely family. You know, when I think of family and a holiday in the cabin, this is how I imagine it would go. This is really sad. I really want to go stay in a cabin, but now definitely alone. I don't want anybody in there. Everybody could just leave me alone. Go away. I don't want it to end up like this. Don't ruin my lovely cabin holiday. I'm not taking her home tonight. I'm not playing. I'm not leaving. I don't want to leave either. Together. The whole point of getting a cabin and all of us staying here was for everybody to spend time together. And that's where you went wrong, man. You should never want to spend time with your family. That's my bit of information for you guys today. I understand she was tired. You are scared. She wouldn't even give it a chance. She wouldn't try. We need to stand our ground and go out there and tell her. This is our home for the, the next week. Get the hell out and get to moving. Let's go. Why is she sat in the van like that? That surely can't be comfortable. Just go up the ramp. You need to come on and try to come in. Y'all need to leave me alone. What do you plan on doing tonight? I don't care what I do tonight. So you gonna sleep in the van? Sure. Sis, don't be like that. Leave me alone. Well, come in for Gage. I would just give up, man. I wouldn't last him like this for my holiday. I'd be like, you can stay out here, mate. Let the wolves have you. I feel like, I'm fucking, I'm done. I'm done with you. I can't be bothered. I've got no energy for you. I'm gonna go enjoy my log fire. I want you to go here, too. Look at him looking at you. So this is our first trip in, Tammy. You're missing out on a lot just I by sitting down. God, she's unbearable. She just ruins everything. Oh, how do you have the energy to deal with something like this? I just wouldn't. I have, uh, people suck. I, I wouldn't have any energy to deal with something like this. I just leave them out there with the hand sanitizer in the van. I really don't feel good, and I didn't want to come. Okay, well, you don't feel good, so let's get in the house and it's get you in the It's not gonna change anything. Do you need an ambulance? Daughter, y'all get all an ambulance. You don't feel good. It doesn't mean I need an ambulance. I'll let you know when I need a goddamn ambulance. <laughs> He's faithful, man. This show is like so deranged. These people suck. It's just so mean. It's unnecessarily horrible for no reason. It's all their own fault. And yet they complain. TLC, where do you find families like this? What stone do you have to unturn in some dark forest to find these creatures? Tammy, there are other people that are here. And, and there's you are no disturbing reason to be like that. And it's late at night. I'm not going to the hospital. I want all y'all to get out of my face. We just want you to go in. I don't want to go in. I'm not an animal. Y'all don't have to watch me. Bye. <laughs> the electronic sliding door is closed. Tammy has spoken. This is ridiculous. Tammy says she's gonna sleep in the car all night. She's gonna make that dumb decision when there's a whole freaking house with many beds. She wants to sleep in the car, let her. What an absolutely god-awful person. Uh, I love these shows, I really do. They just remind me that humanity is forever cursed. It's a dark world. Let's watch one more. 
It's not fair that they're jumping my butt. Chris has put on the weight I lost. Jump his butt. Don't I seem different? Okay, but you was in a controlled environment for That's the last right. seven weeks. Uh, just do what I can to keep the stuff I'm not supposed to have out of my house. I don't mind going get you stuff. Just don't call me 50 times. That's all I'm saying. Who want my food? I f***ing have it. Where you at? Who want my food? Best family. That's what I have to say. The tension that Tammy and Amy got is a love-hate relationship. I'm sorry, mate, but what is he cooking on there? Is that like 26 sausages wrapped in bacon? Have they not learned a lesson by being on a show called A Thousand Pound Sisters? Surely there was a point to this show originally, and I have a feeling it wasn't for them to cook more sausages wrapped in bacon. They don't know how to act. Tammy, when she asks for something, she wants it done now, and is inconsiderate of what Amy's really got going on. She just wants what she wants. Well, I can't go over to your house all the time like I was. It's just not possible with Gage and everything I got going on. So I think a home health nurse would be the best option. What the f <laughs> That's the reaction to that. A long pause and then that. Go. this really is the greatest reality TV show. I, I would like to just be there for only a day. I could not do more than a day. I would like to be a fly on the wall for a day, like the um the audio guy, you know, holding the boom. Just kind of like watching what's going on. I wouldn't want to be there for any longer than 24 hours. I think it would drive me physically insane and then uh, mentally ill. If you could be both of those things at once. Amy needs to quit being lazy and pushing the issue of the nurse. I don't think it's her responsibility to look after you, to be honest. I think she deserves to be able to have her own life. And uh, talk about people being lazy. Um, get the nurse is all I'm going to say. Get the nurse. I'm not a child. I don't need a babysitter. I think it's a great idea. Somebody to come in and help her, you know, meal prep or whatever. You know, I think getting somebody to help her take her places so she can get some exercise in. And, and get out and move around, be more mobile. Yeah, you know, being getting out of the house, not being cooped up. My family acts like I'm invisible. They treat me like a dang on animal. I, I don't know if they act like you're invisible. Um, they have to push you around all the time in that wheelchair. So I think that's borderline impossible. I think they quite are aware that you're physically in their presence, especially because you curse them out all the time. It'd be quite hard to be like, oh, there's an invisible ghost in my room. It's just constantly telling me to fuck off. Oh, hang on, what's that? I'm being sweared at randomly. If only I could physically see the person who was doing it. I'm their sister, a human. They would want to be treated with respect and dignity. But you don't treat anybody else like that. You know, it's the age old fable, isn't it? Treat people how you want to be treated. And I want to be in a wheelchair. <laughs> no, I mean, I would like to be able to have a wheelchair if that's, you know, I said earlier in the video, if, if it would be okay, it'd be cool to have one, you know, I'm allowed to get a scooter. Is it the same thing, relatively? It's got more wheels. You know, I like the idea of never having to walk again. I can't really be bothered for that. It's too much effort. So why can't I get the same treatment? There's no way. Timmy, we are here to support you any way possible. But at the same token, we ain't taking no bull I agree. I've been taking care of Tammy three years, but... Now, I need to be there with my son. I have a family. You're part of that family, but yet he needs me more. It's literally like having two kids. That's insane. Could you imagine? I just wouldn't have the energy for this at all. I, I think I would just like take my family and like move to the other side of the planet, and then I I'd just never be seen again. I bet I'm gone, guys. Goodbye. I decided next week we'll be interviewing home health nurses. You dumbass. You're finna make me mad, Amy. Stop. Nobody said this was over. It is for me, bitch. <laughs> Amy's unreal. Elite character in this show. Is character the right word? <laughs> I, mean, I guess they're people somewhere on this planet. God knows where. <laughs> yeah, bye, bitch. Oh, God. Tammy thinks I should do everything for her without a simple thank you. She takes people for granted, and I'm done. As you should. As you should be done. Well, thanks for watching this video. If you guys did enjoy it, please subscribe and turn notifications on if you're new. You can always unsubscribe, but you don't want to miss a video. So keep that button on, keep that bell on. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.